All right, guys. I've always ran dual carbons in my RO system. First is the sediment filter. As you can see, it gets pretty dirty. We have old pipes in our neighborhood, so it catches a lot of the rust and deposits. So from there, I've always ran dual carbons before I went into the membrane. I just uh, switched over to a chloramine blaster because some municipalities have been switching over to chloramines instead of chlorine. So I'm using one of these in line as well. I'm going sediment, chloramine, carbon block, then membrane. Then it tees off to a storage tank back there for drinking purposes. And then it goes over to the water making station for the fish room where it goes through a DI canister. So a lot of people don't do this step. They, um, when you replace your carbon canisters, it's a really good idea to disconnect the line coming out of the output and flush it because as you can see in this water, it's pretty black. That's just residual carbon dust that was in these two brand new filters. All that carbon dust would actually clog up your membrane prematurely. So it's very important to run this flush before you put it into service. And this is a preferred method as opposed to using the slush valve. If you use the flush valve, you get a lot of the, the carbon dust in the chamber of your membrane, which could eventually break off and, and clog up the membrane as well. So by disconnecting it, you're actually flushing a lot more efficiently. And I have a valve on my water inlet here, just so it makes it easy to service. Actually looking pretty clean now. It's really black at first. Working pretty easy. That's it.